What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of SMG Fishing. So today I just wanted to update you really quick. Alright guys, so here's what's been going on. My boat is a mess. My whole garage is a mess right now. I'll be honest with you guys, for a while I got burnt out on this John boat, building it, putting it together day after day after day. Like I spent all my free time for like two months straight trying to put this thing together. So I don't know if you guys are in the same area as I am, but recently we've been having a lot of warm weather. So that meant getting my 14 foot John boat, which is the last video that you just saw, getting it all ready, going out and fishing, trying to scout out some new places. The water temperature is still a little bit cold, but I really, I just needed to get out on the water. I don't know if you guys have ever had that feeling, but sometimes you just need to get out on the water, be by yourself, with nature, enjoying the outdoors. That's what I needed. The Jamba has been getting a little bit neglected. So in the next couple days, we're gonna be changing that. I've got a ton of stuff coming in. I went to Home Depot, bought all kinds of stuff. Tons more aluminum angle to finish that back deck. More plywood to finish the back deck. I'm gonna put foam down. I got uh, right here, one inch foam. So a lot of people use three quarter inch PVC when they're building their live wall systems. I got half inch, two reasons for that. One because it'll fit in the bottom rails of my boat between the ribs and the bottom. I think I could squeeze it in there so it'll be nice and flush and hidden. Second reason is I think by downsizing the pipe to half inch, I might get a little bit better water flow. I got, you know, tools to cut PVC. I already have some of this, but I'm not sure how long it lasts. So I bought another. And then I got all sorts of elbows and three way and couplings and threaded and not threaded and 40 degree angle. And I got, I got these valves but I don't think I'm gonna use them after all. Stand by. So the reason why I'm not gonna be using those valves is because I found a really great product online. I'm gonna try it out. Instead of using either two aerator pumps or you know, like a, a combination of a bunch of different valves and systems, so you have like a three-way deal going on. So if you shut one off, it goes back and recirculates. So if you shut that one off, open another one, it goes back out of the boat. Instead of having that and dealing with all of that, um, I got this product and they're made by Flowrite. And I'll link that down below in the description and also have that website right here. Oh, that's another thing I got. I got a timer for my live well pump so that it doesn't continuously run. This I think has, I wanna say 12 different settings. That's gonna be a battery saver for sure. Uh, we're gonna talk more about batteries here in a second, by the way. I got a drain for the bottom of my live well. So I got a live well and uh, what this is, this is from a website called greatlakeskipper.com. It's a really cool website. They got a bunch of different stuff on there. It's the only website that I found that sells, what this is is an OEM live well from a different boat. Um, and a lot of different people have been using them. I know Fire Ant Fishing uses one of these guys on his live well. He has uh, a different one. It, it holds a little bit more, but I went for this one because it has more of a rectangular fit to it. It holds, I believe, 23 gallons. Also, I'll link this down below in the description if you wanna go check it out. This thing was like 80 bucks, but then it's also another 50, almost a ship. So uh, it's pretty expensive. If you guys would rather go ahead and do a live well cooler or something like that, get like a 60 quart cooler and just throw a live well on there. That's perfectly fine too, I've used that before. I just wanted this to be a more permanent fixture. I wanna be able to flip switch and it fills up and flip switch and it recirculates, or at the end of the day, flip a switch and it actually pumps all the water out, which is what I'm getting to now. I was gonna use my recirculation pump to recirculate that water and then shut off a valve and open it back up, uh, kind of like Fire and Fishing did, and um, be able to pump that water back out of the boat. I found this product. I'm gonna use two pumps to do three different things. One pump is gonna be used to pull the water out of the lake in the log well, and then the other one is gonna be used to recirculate and pump out the water. Like I said, I didn't wanna have a bunch of different valves and stuff like that, so I found this product right here. This is a pump out aerator combo, and I will link the video to this product down below in the description. I'm by no way sponsored by this product. I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to share this with you guys. All right, so this goes in your live well. Let's say this is the wall, this is the inside portion. Um, these are the pipes that go from recirculate and then this one goes back out of the boat. So if you have it on recirculate, it goes up and comes out and goes into the water. The drain at the bottom of your live well sucks it back up and it keeps going around in a circle, right? And uh, if you don't want to add a bunch of different aerators, if you don't want to add a bunch of valves, 
this is an awesome product in theory. I haven't tried it out yet, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. What you do is when you're recirculating, it's just sitting there and it's actually got air intakes on the top. So it actually pulls a lot of air into the water. And then when you're done at the end of the day, those fish are out of the live well and you want to empty out your live well, you pull that out. What that does is that closes the recirculation valve and it opens it back up. So now your water is being sucked out of the bottom of your live well from that drain and it's going up through here and then down through this other port that goes out of the boat. Pretty cool, huh? In theory, it's pretty cool. This is gonna be awesome. This product also was not very expensive. I, I wanna say it was like 15 to $20 or something like that. Totally worth it, all day. You guys are having problems doing your fixed live well systems and you wanna check this out, go ahead. I'll leave this down below in the video description. And then I also bought a strainer. I thought I bought two of these, but I guess not. These are just strainers. This one's gonna go on the drain. If threads on there so that I don't like suck up fish or any like debris or anything that's in my live well into my pumps. That would suck. So that's cool. Alright. That's enough live well update. We need to move on. This is getting to be a really long video now. Ooh! That's what's next. So the last update that I have for you is I bought some more trolling motors. So the Craigslist ad was for this one, which is a 55 pound Minn Kota transom mount. They call it an Enduro. This one's a 2006. The parts motor was a 2000. It's just a 2000. Um, that one's 34 pounds. This one's 55 pounds. 55 pound works. 34 pound does not work. It didn't work. Check out that next video to see what happens. I'm going to show you guys how to fix these, break them down. And that's pretty much it guys. We've been trying to do a lot of fishing. Winter fishing's rough, it's slow. Um, when you do get on them, they're pretty good, but you gotta find them. And a lot of my reservoirs that I usually fish are closed right now. There's rumor going around that the Rocky Gorge Reservoir and the Tridelphia Reservoir may not even open for the next three years. I'm hoping maybe that the Occoquan Reservoir will open up soon. I think it's scheduled to open up. It might actually be open. I think maybe March is when it opens. So guys, we need to get this boat done. I'm tired of working on it. I just want to fish out of it. There's some guys out there who like to build boats and that's all they do. And that's cool. I don't think I could do it. I'm the kind of person that just needs to be doing like 12 different things at a time all the time. Anyway, I'm really glad you guys came in today and watched this video. I hope you guys will forgive me for not working on the boat too much. I'm trying to take my time with the back deck. Guys, this is a fishing channel. It's not a boat building channel. It was nice to have this content to make. I enjoy making this content, but it's not what I really want to get into. I really want to start fishing hard. And my goal is to definitely just become a better fisherman because I want you guys to see him. I like creating that content. So I don't know if you guys have heard of David from over at Water Warrior Fishing. Go check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of good fishing videos and uh, he, he's really good with like a crankbait, rattle traps, those kind of things, quick moving baits, which is something I'm terrible at. He's gonna be over here tomorrow. We're gonna be working on his boat a little bit, trying to fix it up and trying to make it look just a little bit better for him to be able to fish out of, should be cool. So if you guys have some comments about where we should go and fish this summer, some boat builds that we should do or something like that, maybe we can make that happen. Go leave those down below in the comment section. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and if you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up. See you guys next time.